we have a, a, a lot of uh, a power also in space, not only on Earth, not only in Israel, in, in space also. Uh, we want that all the citizens of Israel, uh, we can, you know, we can, they can touch some activities uh, um, regarding the uh, space issues. And we are doing here uh, this thing this week, uh, and we are doing it for free. And I want all the citizens of Israel to come here to uh, the uh, Eretz Israel Museum in Tel Aviv and in other places all over the country, in Be'er Sheva, in Jerusalem, in, uh, uh, in Haifa, to see our activities. And uh, maybe someday, some of them, maybe the next astronaut will, uh, will come from here. Israel is not only up there, of course, with the tragic story of Ilan Ramon. Israel has been up there for years, especially with technology. You're right. Because Israel is, as you know, everybody knows that Israel is a high-tech nation. Uh, most of the world innovation is coming from here. We're here, like today, to kind of inspire the the next generation of uh, of explorers of space, and uh, but we're also here honoring and celebrating the legacy of the crew of the space shuttle Columbia. Um, the, uh, the sacrifice and the, the determination, hard work, and the, to, to, you know, for, for science and for exploration, and, um, and just passing that story on to the next generation. When uh, young kids will ask you, so what does it mean to be an astronaut? What do you answer them? Uh, a lot of hard work, a, a little bit of luck, and a really cool job. Uh, we get to do some amazing thing. We're very fortunate in what we get to do, and uh, but it's uh, it. The, Space is there for all of us um, with a little hard work. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing business to be in. The message is uh, to do the outreach and uh, to show the uh, Israeli uh, industry and science community uh, uh, challenges and uh, what achievements, mainly their achievement and uh, mainly to, uh, to show uh, the young children what can be done with space and, uh, and science and uh, to make them uh, believe that they can do uh, it uh, by themselves. We present the first uh, spacecraft that are going to land on, uh, on the moon at the end of 2017. This is an unmanned uh, spacecraft? Yes, it's a robotic spacecraft. But it's Israeli? Of course, it's Israeli. And it's here to inspire, you know, that this is mainly an educational week, this is here to inspire. It's not the week, this is what we are doing all the year. Uh, we want to inspire children uh, to choose the science and technology subject at school and uh, we we are going all over uh, the country uh, and telling our story. It's a story of inspiration, of uh, doing by inspiration, it's a story of daring, and uh, we want uh, children to hear our story and choose the STEM subjects. And so the first astronaut, really tragically, the first Israeli astronaut uh, perished in the uh, Columbia disaster. Uh, are you hoping to see new, more Israeli astronauts? Uh, absolutely. Uh, the f I was just telling someone a little while ago, when you get up to space um, and look down on this, this planet of ours, the first thing you want to do is, I, I wish there were more people who could sit here and see this. Um, because we live on a really, uh, really special, a really special place. And the more people that get that orbital perspective and what it's like that we all really share this spaceship Earth, um, the, the more surmountable our, our problems here on Earth, you realize we, there's a lot of things we can solve. <laughs>